Welcome back to the Chef Special on the Express. We're at Wild Rice in New Westminster. Gorgeous new spot right on the water where they also have this great open concept kitchen. So executive chef Todd Bright can share his culinary skills in action with a cooking demo class. And isn't that how we want to learn direct from the masters? That's what this next story is about as well as we get to see West Restaurant's executive chef Wang Dang in action in a home kitchen. <laughs> Things are bustling in this kitchen. For seven years, the Arts Club Theatre Company has hosted celebrity cooking classes. As part of their annual California Wine Fair, chefs volunteer their time and ticket money benefits Arts Club programs. We started doing one or two classes in a season to support the theatre company other than our bums in seats and it's grown exponentially. Generally we do now a spring season and a spring summer and a fall season. It makes it easier on the chefs and you get a different variety of types of cuisine. So people like to support the theater but they also like to come and see a great house and have a different chef and that type of thing. Homeowners from around Metro Vancouver open their doors to strangers and enjoy a unique meal as well as a lesson in how it all comes together. We have a little canapé to start with, uh, made with some beautiful spring salmon, a little bit of Granville Island sake mayonnaise, some fresh gnocchi, uh, mushroom gnocchi, some forged mushrooms and a lot of good nice fresh spring uh, flavors. After that we've got ourselves a uh, a bit of uh, ash crusted pork loin, uh, some spring peas, and rhubarb. So, like the beauty of, uh, of all the of the ingredients of all the menu here is the fact that everything's local. The program's popularity lies within the unusual opportunity to be front row in a chef's kitchen. Some of the chefs are very keen to put people to work. Um, you know, who's got an apron? Who wants to chop? Who wants to learn how to make gnocchi? Other times, if the class gets bigger, like tonight, will be much more hands-off, observing. If you have a question, don't hesitate to ask. There's so much of the, that what we do as cooks and chefs, it just comes naturally and instinctively, and we just sort of make it happen. This summer's classes have almost sold out, but other dates may be added, and the fall program is already being planned. The classes are just a wonderful experience. They bring together a ton of people. It supports the theatre. I've learned so much about cooking and Vancouver restaurants and the experiences, and it's it's been super rewarding. Hopefully, you're able to give them a little an extra tip, a, a trick, or something that they may not know that they'll be able to take home with them and uh, apply in their own kitchens. It's a very different interaction than you know being in a hot kitchen in the middle of service, you know, for multiple hours in a day. If you'd like to enjoy an evening with one of the city's top chefs, watch artsclub.com for tickets and sign up before they're all gone. I'm Paul McClellan in Vancouver for The Express. You can keep an eye on the website artsclub.com for details on their upcoming cooking classes. You can also get information on their 20th annual European tour. It's a fundraising event and it's pretty awesome. Six nights in London, nine nights in Paris. Just imagine the sights and the sounds and the sweets because who doesn't love a chocolate croissant, right? Or a cream puff or a specialty cake. Up next on the Express, we meet a first-time business owner, Jean Logan, who's making a success out of her love of sweets. She actually has a career that takes the cake. Jean Logan is a piping perfectionist. The decoration on this wedding cake is all done by hand. Just for the decoration, maybe two hours, just for the piping, you must have like good study hand and practice, practice a lot. The talented baker she has her red seal in baking. It's the equivalent of your journeyman's papers. Loves the sweet stuff. In fact, she only likes to work on cakes and pastries. I talk to my husband and say, why don't you just open your own? And you can create your own pastry and cake. And that's exactly what she did right here in Delta. She wanted to open the bakery here because she lives right in the neighborhood. Jean invited fellow cake connoisseur Monica Davies to join her. I like baking because it, it's sort of the taking something from nothing and making it into something better. It's just something that people like to congregate around. People love having something to celebrate with. A lot of bakeries you go to, they use shortening and margin or they use liquid topping and things like that. 
but not Jean. She takes the old-fashioned, do-it-like-your-grandmother approach, and that means using lots of butter. Uh, check out what I found, a giant stash of butter. What makes butter better for baking? Um, flavor. The flavor. Yeah, the flavor, yeah. And she focuses on flavor no matter what she's baking. So you make all the little cakes and everything that you have here in-house? Yep, all of our cakes, all of our cookies, they're all made here. Looks a bit like cheesecake? That one is a triple chocolate mousse. Done. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in dessert heaven, I mean Delta, for the Express. The website is jeanscakesandpastries.com, where they are known for their specialty cakes as well. The shop even has photo frost. That's where your favorite photo becomes part of the cake decoration. You're watching The Express, and we've got more from the Blueberry Bash here at New Westminster's Wild Rice, plus these other ways to get a true taste of BC. Everything we do for the food, we do over fire. Creek Bread's Pizza Philosophy. We have lots of rhubarb here. Kelowna's Farm Fresh Menu. The Express, we are your local voice. The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward. Welcome to the BC Sports Hall of Fame. My name is Jason Beck and I'm the Hall of Fame's curator. The history of baseball in BC goes back to the gold rush days of the 1850s when American prospectors brought the game north with them. And today, the game remains strong with many BC boys on major league clubs. Over the years, the Hall of Fame has inducted many baseball individuals. Bob Brown was known as Mr. Baseball. He actually built Recreation Park, the first enclosed baseball stadium in Vancouver. The Callahan sisters, Helen and Margaret, actually were the basis for A League of Her Own, the, the film featuring Tom Hanks and Madonna. And then there's Larry Walker, who in 1997 was the National League MVP. Here's a 1990s catcher's mask. Although rudimentary, it did offer a good deal of protection from wayward fastballs. To see and learn more about BC's best from the ball diamond, come visit the BC Sports Hall of Fame today. Welcome back to the Express at Wild Rice in New Westminster. This is our chef special and Chef Todd right behind me. Well, he's whipping up some sweet and savory dishes, Asian inspired, featuring BC blueberries. Blueberries that we just picked at a Maple Ridge farm. Uh, you know what, here in Metro Vancouver and the Fraser Valley, we're not the only ones that want to link the farm and the restaurants. They've got the same buzz going on in Kelowna. Cultus Lake Water Park's Big Summer is brought to you by Cultus Lake Water Park. We have lots of rhubarb here. April Roy, executive chef from Cabana Bar and Grill, is getting a first-hand look at where some of her produce comes from. She's touring Old Meadows Organic Farm and today is looking for some ingredients for her restaurant's Okanagan pizza, spinach and strawberries. Yes, strawberries on pizza. And we'll find out later on that it's pretty darn good. Well done. I think that'll go great with the spinach. I know yeah. exactly what I want to do now. You would not believe the difference from your grocery store, what they hold on their shelves compared to what you get from the actual earth right here. Like, the taste is incredible. Old Meadows used to be a berry farm, but a cutworm infestation wiped out their entire strawberry crop over two years. That's when the owners decided to make it an organic farm. What we decided to do at that point was transition to vegetables and give the fields a rest completely from strawberry. Now tourists to Kelowna will also be able to visit local farms and then have their food they see show up on their menu for supper. Tourism Kelowna has devised a farm-to-table brochure that links local farms, orchards and wineries with restaurants. It's kind of like taking the 100-mile diet and knocking about 95 miles off it. There's a definite trend with travelers who are wanting to meet people who are passionate about what they're doing and then recognize you know, ingredients of the farms that they've just visited in, in the restaurants. Wow. We have this in droves in Kelowna. This is our goat gonzola, that's our blue cheese. Our next stop is Carmeli's Goat Cheese Farm, where April is looking for a sharp mm. cheese to add to her pizza. Creamy, got a little bite to it. It's gorgeous. The longer we age it, the sharper it would be. Of course. But I think it's in a perfect state. This is another stop on the farm to table tour where you can meet the people behind the delicious food in the Okanagan. Now it's time to cook up the Okanagan yeah, pizza in the kitchen at Cabana Bar and Grill. And April has another trick up her sleeve, an egg from Old Meadows on the pizza. I know it sounds strange, but Europe, it's so popular. I want it to still have a little bit of run 
texture to it. See how that prosciutto is getting crispy? The egg is fully cooked now. It's gorgeous. Fresh strawberries. Once it's garnished with the fruit and a little balsamic drizzle, it's ready for us to devour it, and it is indeed delicious. Visit TourismColona.com for more information on Farm to Table. Big Summer has been brought to you by Culpus Lake Water Park. The website is TourismColona.com where you can find a list of 53 restaurants and also some creative ideas linking delectable cuisine with adventures on Okanagan Lake. You know, that's one way to tap into tourism. And for more ideas, we're joining Nicole Fitzgerald in Whistler. So what's happening with the resort culinary scene these days? Whistler Village is, of course, famous for its fine dining scene. However, only five minutes away in Creekside, there's a restaurant that has a heart as big as their pizzas. And we don't have any microwaves or conventional ovens in the kitchen. There are no burners, gas, electric, or otherwise at Creek Bread in Whistler. Fire fuels everything they do. Everything we do for the food that needs to be cooked, we do over fire. It's primitive cooking, using fire, and getting back to nature. And most importantly, getting back to community. Fire has gathered people around it since the Stone Ages. The hearth was considered the heart of a home, and Creek Bread is no different. Community drives operations, even the art on the wall. So what are the banners for? Uh, these banners actually are provided from our Whistler Benefit Program that we hold every Tuesday. Almost every week, a charity or community organization hosts a fundraiser. Proceeds from the evening's pizzas are donated to the cause. They're welcome to hold salad auctions here and raffles. We've had many, probably over a hundred in the past two years. And this isn't the only community program growing at Creek Bread. So this is my community garden plot here. Nicely done. Thank you. Got lots of good things growing in there. Creek Bread's backyard was originally a barren space of rock and weeds last summer. Unable to grow food for the restaurant, another option was explored with green results. This year we had a wait list for it. So uh, it's really, you know, it's exciting. Everybody gets excited watching what they're growing and getting to eat it and it's all fresh and, you know, again, kind of what we really stand for. So the community comes for the neighborhood garden, charitable causes, and even the art. These are the many hands that came together to build the clay oven. But don't let this one love world fool you. The real success of Creek Bread comes straight from the kitchen. All our meats are free range, hormone free. Uh, we make our pepperoni and our sausage here in house. We use the cauldron in the back to do our sausage. We use alder, it's a stronger wood. It doesn't add any unwanted flavors to it. If anything, it enriches the flavors that are on there. Pizza chef Sebastian Willette makes a half and half pizza. On one side, the Pemberton potato pie with organic rosemary cream, fontine cheese, and local spuds. Don't forget the local add-on of the nitrate-free applewood smoked bacon. The only thing more heavenly? The Mopsy's Kahlua pork pizza. And it's not just the free-range pork shoulder that stand out on this one. It's the mango barbecue for sure. It's, the sauce is just creamy and it's good. It's great. <laughs> A restaurant of many greats for the community, environment, and Whistler's culinary scene. The only thing greater than their pizzas? is clearly their hearts. From That's Whistler, amazing. I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. Oh, that looks good. You can check out Creek Bread's website to find out about their next fundraiser. And Nicole says when you're there, be sure to try their summer-inspired drink. It's an organic spiced apple mojito. Delicious. You've been watching our Express Chef special. And we'd love to hear what you think of today's show and who you'd like to see featured on our next show. So you can find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and of course, send us emails at theexpress at shaw.ca. Thanks for watching the show only on Shaw TV. We're going to leave you with more of our inspired BC blueberries.